Welcome back, everyone. Welcome to episode six or lesson number six of SketchUp for Schools slash SketchUp Make, SketchUp Pro, whichever version you might be working on at home. Today, we're going to be talking about uh, making polygons, polygons and circles and the difference between the two and how to place them correctly and such. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to open up once again decimal inches because that's what I'm using here. Create new. I'm going to delete Edith. And I'm going to <clears throat> start out by using a rectangle tool, which I usually use this one right here. And I'm going to create a rectangle. Hands off. 40, comma, 40, enter. Creating a 40 inch by 40 inch rectangle. Zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to pull it up with the push pull tool which you can find right in here so I'm going to control Z because I need to do that in one motion pull up let go type 40 enter let go so now I have a square or cube that is 40 by 40 by 40 all right this is stuff that should be familiar with you to you at this point I'm assuming that most people who are doing these assi these pro these assignments and for my students or uh, lessons for people who are not my students are practicing along the way as in getting some experience and trying out different things. And hopefully you've already stumbled on this this uh, this what we're teaching today. But hopefully also you'll learn a few things from watching this video that you haven't figured out yet. All right, let's go ahead and grab a circle. So that's going to be in the same thing here. Circles are right here, polygons are right here, and you'll see that they're pretty, they're very similar to each other. There's very little difference between the two of them. But because all circles are in fact polygons, and I'll show you that in a moment, let's start with that. So I'm gonna grab the circle tool, and I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna hover on that midpoint. And I'm gonna wait, I think two seconds is what they want you to do. Same thing on this side, I'm gonna wait two seconds, and then it's gonna line it up for me right in the middle. Okay, so that's a very important lesson today, is how to center or put a uh, something, a circular polygon in a very specific location. So now I, if I click here, it's going to put that circle perfectly in the center of that square. And as I draw back, it's going to want to know something. If you look at the bottom of the screen, it says radius is approximately 13.72 inches. It's asking me, it wants to know right now, what's the radius of this circle? So for the radius of the circle, that's halfway across, it's the half of the diameter. I'm going to type in 16, enter. I chose that number because I wanted to make sure it was smaller than the surface. The surface was 40 inches wide, so I chose 16 inches. So I typed 16, enter. Now, I'm gonna take a moment to talk to you about this circle for a second, because it's not, in fact, a circle. As you can see, <clears throat> if I were to take a line tool, find the middle, which I'm gonna to need to hover, longer for and I were to say draw that and I were to say draw this you'd see that it's basically a bunch of pie shapes okay this is not a circle it has flat sides to it it has in fact 24 flat sides that's what it is norm like from the beginning it just if you just make a circle in SketchUp and you put it somewhere like I'm about to do again enter it has 24 sides now <clears throat> I can change that if I want to and I often do if I'm 3d printing something or I am laser cutting something and I need it to be smoother than that this is the moment I can change that if I do anything else at this point and then want to change that it becomes more difficult it can be done but primarily this is where I decide how many sides I want that to be and to do that, I'm going to type a number, the letter S, and enter. So if I type 5S, enter, I'm going to get five-sided polygon. If I type 100S, I'm going to get something that looks very smooth. because it didn't, But it is not, in fact, a circle. It is a polygon. Even if I type a million S, it's still, which it wouldn't allow me to do, it's still going to be a polygon. It's just going to have more sides. 
Okay, so SketchUp does not make actually true circles. It makes things that appear to be circles and are basically circles in reality in terms of what, what is useful for us in terms of what we make. But depending on what it is you're creating, you might need to increase the number of sides. Something else for you to consider though, is that the more sides this thing has, the more information it takes on the computer. And so if I do something with this circle, the longer it's gonna to take to actually do that, because it's gonna take far more computer computations for it to be able to handle that information. And SketchUp is not always the fastest program, so it does make a difference. So sometimes if I, if I try to make something too smooth and I'm gonna 3D print it, and I do something to it, the, the computer will freeze and it will take forever. The other night I did this, I did something and I had to basically do the work, push the button, push enter, and then I went to sleep. And in the morning I woke up and it had actually achieved it. It had just taken who knows how long to make that happen. All right, so let's go back. So we're, now we're gonna talk, I'm gonna keep moving forward and I'm going to expect my students to be following along. So once again, I'm gonna start with this. I'm going to go to here, and I have a problem here because this is going to click 16, enter, and I find it interesting that it's back to 24 sides because I was thinking it was going to remember that 100 sides, but it is 24 sides, and I'm going to leave it that way, okay? So now I have a circle in the middle of this, and I'm going to go ahead and do this. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to leave it the way it is. Okay, the next thing I want you to do <clears throat> is I want you to pull that up to enter. So now I've, I've made a 16 inch in radius, so it's 32 inches in diameter circle, and I pulled it up two inches. I'm now gonna come back to the circle, and I'm come here, and now I'm gonna find the center of that circle. You can see that it, that it found it for me. If I hover on any of the corners, because it has corners because it's a polygon, then, or angles, it's going to find the center for me. If I hover for two seconds full, it's going to let me to come right to the middle and come out. So let's go ahead and the last one was 16. So let's do 14, enter. Two, enter. We'll do that three more times. We'll, we'll subtract two inches each time. 12, enter. Two, 12 enter, and then grab the push pull tool to enter, and let's do one more. Uh, that last one was, that was 12, so this is, or was it 12? It was 16, 14, 12, so this one's 10, enter. And I wanna show you something. I'm pretty sure if I double click, it remembered that the last time I used this tool, I was pulling two inches. So all I had to do this time around was double click and it automatically pulled it up. If I double click again, it's gonna come up another two inches. And if I check this with a measurement, you know, not that one. Tape measure, you'll see that this is in fact four inches tall. Okay. But for the purpose of the assignment, I'm going to push down two inches. I just wanted to show you that double clicking thing. So this is our goal for my students, I should say is these circles, 16, 14, 12, 10 inch circles placed perfectly in the center of this and within the center of each other. And I want them to be um, two inches tall. This is what I'm looking for. All right, now <clears throat> let's grab a polygon on this side. So this is a polygon. If I click on here, I can hover it here in the middle, oops. Midpoint, hover here on a midpoint right there for two full seconds, and I can find that center right there. I'm gonna do the same thing I just did above. So I'm going to go 16, enter, and I'm gonna double click. Oh, that did not work because I pushed last time. I'm coming out here two inches, and I'm going to control Z that because I want us to give it a specific number of sides. So I'm gonna to go to the midpoint, go to this midpoint, come to here, click. 
I'm going to do 16, enter, and then I'm going to give it, we're going to go with 10 sides, enter. I just want to give it a specific number of sides for the purposes of, of this demonstration and for my students. So now it has 10 sides. So this is a 16 inch. If I take, if I were to take a tape measure and I would go from this point here all the way across to that right there, it is 32 inches across. Okay. Now I'm going to pull that out two inches. And I believe this is going to remember the 10 sides, but we're going to check that. 10, oops, that's not what I want. I want 14, enter. And then I'm going to 10 sides, enter. And then I'm going to pull that out two inches, which I double clicked for. Once again, I'm going to go to here, go to here, go to there, come out. And that last one was 14, so this one's 12. Enter, 10, S, enter. Find this one weird because it didn't, it didn't straighten out. I noticed the last two evened out. And I wonder if there's something I did differently there. I'm going to go here. Go here. I wonder if I, I wonder if there's a way for me to. I wonder if I click there. Let's find out. Uh, that was 12. Enter. 10 S. Enter. That actually worked. Interesting. Double click. One more time. Click here. Go to there. Click here. I'm going to go to that spot right there. I'm going to type 10, enter. Uh, yeah, 10, S, enter. And then click and click. All right, let's talk about the difference between these two things. So obviously, this one has 10 sides and this one has 24 sides, each of them. But I, want you, I hope you notice there's something else different here. When I did a polygon, <clears throat> it created these lines here. And those lines turn these into manipulatable surfaces, which means I can go here and I can pull on that if I want to. Control Z puts that back. It can, the same thing cannot be said here. However, I am actually able to change that if I wanted to. I can click here and here, and I can put that back in, and now I can pull on that. But it is important for you to notice that there is a difference that I'm going to see between a circle and a polygon, more than just the number of sides, because these are all polygons, because these have 24 sides, these ones have 10 sides, they're all polygons. The difference in terms of what SketchUp is putting out for us is all about whether or not those lines are there. Okay, all right, last one we're going to do. We're going to start out with a circle. I'm gonna go here. We're going to go here, we're going to find our center, which I think I might have missed that center. I think I moved at the last second, so I'm going to fix that. So I, I pushed the escape button to end what I had done, which means that when I came to a spot, I clicked, I thought, ooh, I made a mistake. I clicked the escape button to exit out of the action. All right, so now I've got a circle. I'm going to do that 16 inches. I'm going to pull it out two inches to enter. Then I'm going to grab a polygon and I'm going to find the center and I'm going to do 14 inches, 10 sides, enter. I'm going to double click. Then I'm going to come back to the circles. I just really want you guys to get some practice doing this properly. So this is uh, 12 enter. We're leaving it at 24 sides and we're going to double click to pull that out Then we're going to do one last one and we will be nearly done here. Find that center and this one is 10 enter uh, 10 S enter and we're going to pull that out and there we go. So this is the, uh, I'm missing, this one never got pulled out over here, it looks like. There we go. 
So this is what I'm expecting my students to show me. I want to cover real quick the things that I wanted you to learn from this, from this particular assignment. I want you to know how to center something when you're putting it in a place. Okay? You could also have placed it in a specific location by measuring and doing and using the measuring tool to place it in, a, in a, something offset if you wanted to. If you wanted to put this in a specific spot, you would use the tape, the, the lines, the tape measure to place guidelines so that you would know where you're putting it. But it's important for you to be able to center this or use inference points to locate spots where you are. It's also important for you to recognize how to change the number of sides on a circle or a polygon. I also want you to know the difference between a circle and a polygon in SketchUp. And that those are the lessons that I want for you. For my students, this is the visual that I want you to have, but don't forget, I'm going to require this from now on for all my students. Never mind, we'll leave that till something else. All right, so this is your assignment or your uh, lesson for the day. You guys have a fantastic day. Hope to see you in lesson number seven.